Welcome to Daily Physics episode for today. Our topic is reference frame. We have two contestants. Uh, one is the God of Physics. He is the graduate student of Physics at Brown University. One is God of Math. He is the undergraduate student at New York University. So there would be a combination between Shubhano and Apurva, NYU and Brown University. You ready, guys? Yeah. All right. um, I, I think that I am the greatest at math, and he is the worst at physics. He's the failure at physics. What is reference frame, Ref? Reference frame is the coordinate system that an observer uses to describe the world. Isaac? Well, I mean, yeah, he's mostly right. To put it a little bit more in depth, it's how... No, 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 no. I want to get yeah, to it's definitely. how you, from your own perspective, describe distance, velocity, acceleration, time, momentum, and a whole bunch of other things that are totally relative. And, in fact, Einstein's theory of relativity tells us that pretty much everything is relative and dependent on... That's incorrect. Okay, no, 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 no. Today we're not Almost gonna be, everything. Uh, today, I said pretty much uh, everything. The special reference frame is a uh, frame where you have an object infinitely dis infinite distance away from any other object. So if you push it, it moves. And if you drop it, it doesn't fall. But if I drop it, it does fall. So why is still Earth is approximately more or less an inertial reference frame? Isaac. Well, I mean, Earth by itself, like the whole planet, is an inertial reference frame, right? And that's because an inertial reference frame, uh, an ideal inertial reference frame, is something where you have an object and there's absolutely no external force on it, according to that description. It's not going to get pulled by gravity or anything else. The only force that's going to get exerted on it is... What is that? What is that? What is, what is the... What is the velocity of Earth with respect to the... With res with respect to its axis, um, with respect to its axis. Well, the velocity of Earth with respect to its axis. Do you mean you know you know its tangential velocity, like the velocity of its with the rotation of the Earth? Yeah. One thousand, one thousand, one thousand miles per hour. What is the Earth velocity with respect to Sun? Very close to it. Oh no, um, the Six, centripetal. Sixty-four thousand miles per hour. What is the Earth mm -hmm. velocity with respect to the galaxy? I, I don't know. It's about one, it is about very close to one million kilometer per yeah, hour. Yeah, but these are all with respect to external bodies. But velocity never, 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 never use to describe, uh, uh, velocity never affects the inertial reference frame. So we can ignore the velocity. The what only thing that affects inertial reference frames are acceleration. So what, is the art, what is the art acceleration with respect to its own axis? Zero. It's about zero. constant. Point zero zero three, which is zero. Good. What is the Earth acceleration with respect to the Sun? When is um, very close to zero? I don't remember. It's like point zero 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 six, which is zero. Well, yeah. It's, uh, I wouldn't expect the acceleration to be constant, but yeah. So zero. So although mm -hmm. Earth velocity is not close to zero, but its acceleration is constant, then. Why then, although its acceleration is zero, okay, we agree with zero, point zero zero three is zero, we agree. Why then I let it go and it falls? Why is that? Well, I mean, we're pretty small, right? And also, we're talking about us with respect to the Earth. Now we're talking about our own reference frames. And our own reference frames aren't necessarily inertial. The Earth's reference frame is inertial. Me dropping this. Now you're answering the question. Now let's go to Ref. Ref, okay. so, Ref Saskain yeah. said, uh, you, mm -hmm. you heard what Saskain said. And Saskain yeah. is as big as you can get. Yeah. Why Earth okay. is an inertial reference frame? That's right. So the, Earth, so the Earth is an inertial reference frame. Why? Because the acceleration of the Earth around the Sun is zero. Right? But if you drop a marker, then you see the marker accelerate. It's because now we're dealing with a completely different system, right? When you drop the marker, the marker system doesn't include the Earth. Very you, good. Uh, you just have the marker in a box. Very good. The force of the Earth on Very the marker good. Very is an good. external Art force. is the inertial reference frame. And inertial yeah. reference frame itself does not have 9.8 meters per second square. Yeah. 
because when you drop the marker, the earth becomes outside of this of the is system. the small yeah. yeah. Now we're talking about the, the marker, earth. our reference frame. The, the, no longer so right. talking about the Earth's reference frame. So and it's not accelerating with respect so to why do we why mm -hmm. do we say that um, uh, acceleration due to gravity? That's not the inertial reference frame gravity. Okay. Yeah, our reference frame is not inertial, but unfortunately, we are not the Earth. That's right. We wow, are the not the rises. That's right. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, next you're going to tell me we're not Mars either. The plane is moving to the to the east with 250 mm. meter per second. Mm -hmm. And the car is moving to the west with 50 meter per second. This is also 250 meter per second. This is also 250 meter per second. This is also 50 meter per second. This is also 50 meter per second. Wait, that the, the last one, ground three, is it moving to the right? The plane? The is plane the always plane? moved to the right. Okay. And the car always moved to the left. Scenario one, he is on the ground. As scenario okay. two, he is in the car. Mm -hmm. As scenario three, he is in the plane. Here he sees the guy on the okay, from the car, the ground. And now on the plane, the ground is okay. Moving. Done. Okay, we wait for the RF. Hey, you copied the negative signs thing from me. Okay. Uh, ref. Yeah. Let's see. He's in the ground. Okay. When he is in the ground, what is the velocity of ground? Zero. Zero. When when he is um in the when he is in the car, mm -hmm. what is the velocity of the ground? Fifty. Okay. When he is in the plane, what is the velocity of the ground? Um, negative two fifty. Good. When he's in the ground, what is the velocity of the car? Minus Negative 50. 50. And then when he is in the car, car the what is the velocity, velocity of the car? Zero. And when he is in the plane, what is the velocity of the car? Negative uh, 300. Negative? 300. Negative 300 because negative 50 and negative? Negative 50 and negative? 250. They so add up. Right, baby? Yeah. Wait, why do they add up? Add up? I don't understand. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go think, over here. Think yeah. about it this way. This guy is going in the opposite direction of the plane. So the yeah. Plane oh, it'll speed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll go, go, then go, as go, if go, they go. were going yeah, the same yeah, yeah. direction. Okay. So, so minus this, 300. This is minus 300. Okay. 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 All right. Raph, read this one. Okay. What is the speed of the plane when he's on the ground? <laughs> okay. Uh, 250. Plus 250. Copy! Uh, uh speed... Read, read this one. Uh, what's the velocity of, uh, the plane when he's in a car? And the answer is 300. And this one? Um, okay. that's zero. Yeah, zero. Okay.